Hello everyone, I hope you're doing all right. Today we're talking about the Concentration Sentinel, the counterpart to Fury. If you're looking for the Imperial and or Dark Side version of this spec, check the description below. I will link the Fury guide there. For a tertiary stat screen, you're looking for 110% accuracy in PvE, and then as little accuracy as possible in PvP. Your alacrity, you want to get to like 7.2-ish percent, that should compensate for most of your lag issues, and then dump the rest of your tertiary stats into critical. These are the utilities that I personally take, excuse me. Uh, first we're taking Zenith for the extra crit chance. It's extra crit, we love crits all the time. Transcendence to me is just more useful than the other options. You can take those if you want to. Zealous Revelation is going to be mandatory for the rotation, rotation that we're running. If you're running the old rotation, you can, you can take Zealous Defense. It's really up to you, but I like having more damage. So we take Zealous Revelation here. Criticality is just gonna be free crits all the time. We take those every single day of the week. Up here in the next, I take defensive role personally. The reduction of AOB is pretty fantastic. Uh, you can take the extra leap if you really want it, if you want the movement, but that's just not my style. I'd rather have the extra defensive chance. Uh, I take Zealous Ward. Zealous Ward prevents you from getting CC'd and gives you a little bit of healing every time you get attacked. Um, if you're in PvE content, you can take like Adjudicator or Trailblazer. They kind of all suck. Um, pick whichever one suits your favorite. The next set is kind of dealer's choice. Uh, Guarded by a force is what I run for the extra DCD. I like it more. Uh, Blade Bliss is great for mobility. And then Force Stasis is great for having a CC in PvP. I won't be mad at you if you take any of these options here. It's really up to you. Finally, up here, uh, I take Inspired Focus. It's going to give you that little bit of passive healing to help out your healers just a little bit. Give you that little extra bit of survivability. ability. Uh, if you want to, you can take Stoic. Um, it's okay the extra zen is nice but not really um so personally i just take inspired focus so those are the sets that i personally run let's take a look at the legendaries and the tacticals real quick uh for the tactical we take cauterized coronary it's oogles and boogles of extra damage it's very very nice for your pve and your pv peers if you want to you can run to fell splice genes especially in solo ranked but that's more of an optional pick for those of you who want to be really sweaty, stealth out all the time, and get those heals up. For our legendaries, we're going to take the Fearless Victor package. It's going to give us free 10% extra damage all the time. It's pretty fantastic. Speaking of free damage, uh, every time you use Zen, we're going to get that 5% extra damage because of our Berserker's Call package. So those are your legendaries, your tacticals, etc., and your choices. Let's talk about the actual class itself here. So... Concentration is a builder spender spec. That means you build up your concentration, or I'm sorry, your focus, and then you spend that focus over time on your harder hitting abilities. For example, we have a couple of builders here. The first is our force leap. Force leap will leap you to the target. And you're gonna see we're slowly building these, these little yellow bubbles beneath our health bar here. Another way to do this is by using strike. Strike is a terrible ability. We try not to use it. If you do, you have offended the ancestors. So try not to use strike as much as possible. But if you run out of things to hit, you can use strike. Our primary builder is gonna be Zealous Strike. Zealous Strike doesn't do a lot of damage, but builds six focus. So you can see we have all this focus that we can now spend on our harder hitting abilities. There is one final way to build focus in this spec, and that's by using our Zen but we can't use Zen all the time. To use our Zen, we need to have 30 stacks of centering. And we get stacks of centering by spending our focus. So you can see by spending our focus, we're building these stacks of centering, which is gonna give us more focus, which is gonna give us more centering. It kind of all plays into each other. When you have 30 stats of Zen, what you do is you hit Zen and it'll immediately generate four stacks of focus. And then we'll give you eight additional focus over the next couple of seconds. So it's passive focus generation for us. Really, really a great ability. Additionally, every time you use Zen, we're gonna get 25% crit chance for the next six seconds, which is pretty fantastic. And additionally, we're gonna have a free auto crit every time we use our Zen. So free crits all around, it's a great ability. We love to see it. So I can demonstrate here, if we hit the Zen button, boop, we generate four focus right away. And then we're slowly building up more focus over time. Before we talk about our abilities, you kind of have to know how these abilities all function together in order to understand why we're doing what we're doing in the rotation. For example, we have two leaps. The first, as we already talked about, is force leap. It will actually generate focus. 
It's a great ability, great from closing distance. We also have a secondary leap here called Zealous Leap, which will actually spend focus, but do a boatload of damage. So, boop, it does like 20k damage on a crit. Pretty fantastic. We love our Zealous Leap, but not just for the damage. You're gonna notice here that every time we use a leap ability, our focus burst and our force leap will start to glow. That's because every time you use a leap, you will get an auto crit on your force sweep and or your focus burst. So free crits all around. You're gonna notice a running theme here of crits, 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 crits. Concentration is great at building these auto crits. So that's the first way these abilities interact with each other. Every time you use a leap, your burst and your sweep will auto crit. Additionally, if you use your force exhaustion, force exhaustion will give you free focus bursts. So now your focus burst, which usually costs a whole bunch of focus, you can now use for free because of the bonus that force exhaustion gives you. You're gonna notice here, focus burst gives you bonus damage. It's gonna give you like a 5% extra bonus damage buff really, really nice, so that way we can use our other abilities and really be doing a lot of damage afterwards. Additionally, when we use our concentrated slice, we get another buff called centered focus, which means the next focus burst is gonna do a whole lot more damage. So you can see here, these abilities starting to play into each other. Additionally, every time we use a leap, our blade storm will no longer cost focus and will in fact give us a focus and then do more damage. So, our goal with our rotation is to be building up all these buffs and spending them efficiently. So in order to do that, we've established a four part rotation. Now, I know that four parts to an entire rotation seems like a lot. I promise you, if you just sit down, understand the basics of what we're doing every single time, it'll be a fine uh, rotation to follow. It'll be perfectly fine. So to start off, this is optional if you want to do this for every fight. You don't actually have to. If you use a regen, you will slowly build 30 stacks of centering. So if you run out of stacks of centering, you're like, ah, I could really open up from the rotation. If you're like walking up to a silver or a gold mob and you want to have all these stacks of centering ready to go, you can absolutely sit down and use your regen to build those 30 stacks. We want to be opening every major fight, so like an, a, a boss, uh, especially like operations. You want to have 30 stacks before you go in. So that's how you get, build 30 stacks for free. All right. Part one of the rotation is going to be building focus. We build focus through a couple of ways. The first is going to be by using a leap in. Now you can use, this is an interchange between the force leap and the actual zealous leap in the middle of the rotation. So if we were in the middle of casting here, you would use zealous leap and then zealous strike and then force exhaustion. So what we've done here is we've given ourselves an auto crit by using a leap. We've given ourselves a bunch of focus by using strike or zealous strike. And then we have made our next focus burst free by using force exhaustion. So just remember the opening part of this rotation is preserving the focus that you have and generating more. So again, opener, first part of the rotation, a leap, zealous strike, force exhaustion. Now we've entered in to the fun part of the rotation. This is called BSS. It's called BSS because it's going to go burst, slice, and then storm. This will switch later, don't worry about it for now. So second part of the rotation, BSS, it can be burst, slice, storm. Now we're doing this because it's gonna have the auto crit on focus burst, which is gonna give us bonus damage into our concentrated slice, which is going to give us extra damage into our blade storm, generate that little bit of extra focus. Some people have said, oh, why don't you use slice first and then into focus burst? It's because the slice buff actually lasts throughout the entire part of the rotation. And there's no really clean way to preserve the buff and keep the rotation flowing smoothly. So I hear you, those of you who want to like theory craft and say slice first. No, just, just don't, just don't. So you're going to go first part of the rotation, jump in, build with strike, force exhaustion, and then burst, slice, storm. Okay, those are the abilities. During this part of the rotation, we're actually going to be spending our stacks of centering. So we're gonna be using that Zen. So what we wanna do is since we have the free auto crit on focus burst, we're gonna use our Zen immediately after our focus burst to get the instant crit onto our uh, concentrated slice. So string it all together, we're going to build focus. So leap, zealous strike, 
force exhaustion, and then burst strikes last, burst, and then zen strike storm. That's the first half of the rotation. The second half of the rotation is going to be focused on building stacks of centering. Now, when you actually have Zen running, you can't build stacks of centering except for one ability here called Blade Barrage. Blade Barrage is costs no focus, it has a pretty extensive cooldown, but it has the unique feature of it will build stacks of centering even when you're in Zen. So what we want to be doing is when we have our, all of our stacks of Zen, we want to be going back in and guaranteeing our auto crit by using our leap again. Then we're going to use Blade Barrage, and then we're going to use Force Slash. So, first half of the rotation. Jump in, build focus, BSS. Next half of the rotation. Jump in, build centering. Okay? So that's going to look like jump in, build focus, Force Exhaustion. Burst, Zen, Strike, Storm. Next part of rotation. Jump in. Blade Barrage to build centering. Slash. Now I can hear you asking, why are we using Slash and Storm so much in this rotation? What benefits providing to us? Well, I'm glad you asked me. Every time we use Slash, the cooldown of Focus Burst and of Zealous Sleep will be reduced by one second. So by filling out the rotation with Slash and Dispatch and Bladestorm, we're actually flushing out our rotation and lowering the cooldown of our high damaging abilities. So that's why we're using for Storm and then Slash throughout this rotation. Let's walk through the first three phases again one more time. So, bunch of stacks of centering, you have 30, you are ready to rock and roll. First part of the rotation, build focus, jump in, Zealous Strike, Force Exhaustion, BSS, Burst Zen, Slice, Storm, Building Concentration with Zealous Leap, Blade Barrage, Slash. And now we're in for our second BSS. So we're gonna go Burst, Slice, Slash. And that will be the final part of our rotation. So, Build Focus, BSS, Build Concentration, BSS. Repeat, 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 repeat. So, tell me, we're going to take it from the beginning. Jump in. Build focus. Exhaustion. Burst. Zen. Slice. Storm. Jump in. Build concentration. Slice. Burst. Slice. Slash. From the beginning. Jump. Build focus. Preserve the focus. Burst. Zen. Strike. Slash, jump in, build concentration, slice, burst, slice, slash, jump in, build focus, preserve the focus, burst, spend, slice, slash, jump in, build concentration, slice, burst, slice, slash. If you can do this kind of rotation till your fingers bleed, so that way you no longer have to think about what abilities you're pressing next, you will be perfectly happy with doing oogles and boogles of turbo damage as Concentration Sentinel. Concentration Sentinel is one of the highest parsing specs in the game right now, so if you're messing it up, you gotta, you gotta step it up, all right? You can't be letting those like Virowinds players catch up to you because you gotta preserve the name of Concentration Sentinel within your raid group. If you can nail this rotation till your fingers bleed to the point where you don't have to think about it anymore, you'll be doing just fine. Just nail those four parts of the rotation. Again, build focus. Build focus. Build focus. Burst. Zen. Slice. Storm. Jump. Build concentration. Doom. Burst. Slice. Slash. Do that to your fingers bleed. Till you have it memorized, you'll be good and ready to rock and roll. Hi, this is Future Mark. Past Mark was dumb and didn't mention the ability Dispatch. Dispatch functions the same as Slash, except it does more damage and it's only available during the execute phase. So whenever possible during execute, you can replace any Slash with a Dispatch and that's all that changes during execute. Does the same thing, lowers the cooldown of Obliterate and our Burst. So during execute, that's what button you use. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it. Now you know. 
Let's quickly talk about our defensive cooldowns here. The first offensive cooldown we have is Saber Reward. Saber Reward gives you a flat 50% def defense chance, which is very nice. It's also going to give you a little bit of extra defense against your force and tech attacks. So that's yellow damage. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. Just hit the defensive cooldown. If you feel like you're going to die. Additionally, we have the cooldown of Guarded by the Force. Guarded by the Force gives you a 99% defensive or 95% the damage reduction, but this is an optional ability here. As we remember, we chose Guard by the Force in our tree. You can also have Blade Blitz if you really want to. Finally, we have our Rebuke. Rebuke take, reduces our damage taken by 20%, and it ticks for an extended period of time. So if you see here, if I have Rebuke on, it's going to last for 10 seconds. But if someone attacks me, that duration of Rebuke is going to refresh up to 30 seconds. It's going to do a minor amount of damage back to the target too. So it's a very nice ability. Finally, we have our Force Camouflage. Force Camouflage uh, does not push you out of combat exactly, uh, but it's great in PvP scenarios. It's also our Threat Dump. So if you pull Threat, which you very well might because you're playing Concentration, you can always use your force camouflage and really help your friends out. It's also 50% less damage taken, so it's a nice ability. Finally, we also have our Valor's Call and Inspiration. So if you're lame and you're like, I don't have 30 stacks of Zen, I really want 30 stacks of Zen, you can hit your Valor's Call button and then boop, you instantly have 30 stacks of Zen. It has a two minute, 15 second cooldown, so you can use it whenever you want to in leveling. Um, in raids, most of the time, it's used for popping our buff of Inspiration. Inspiration is the greatest buff in the game. Uh, increases all party members' damage by 10%. So how we want to use it in our rotation is after we use our auto crit or we use our Zen into our slice. If you want to use Valorous Call into Inspiration, that's probably the best way to do it so that you don't completely destroy your Zen generation. I think I covered everything. Again, we'll go over the rotation one more time because I know it sounds like a lot, but it's just four parts, very manageable. I believe in you, you can do it. So, first part, generate focus, jump in, zealous, zealous strike, force exhaustion, BSS, burst, zen, slice, storm, generate concentration, so leap, blade barrage, slash, BSS, burst, Slice, slash, let's do this over and over and over. Sit in front of the target dummy if you have to, because if you do, you will be doing oogles and boogles and doogles of damage, and no one is gonna keep up with you on the meters. So it is a good time. Would recommend you pick up a Concentration Sentinel if you haven't already. If you have any questions about Concentration Sentinel, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'm not an expert on this sort of thing. I just play the game a lot, kind of a nerd. Um, so if you have any recommendations for your fellow players, please leave a comment, help them out. Uh, but otherwise, that's all I got. Uh, you can subscribe if you want to, or don't. I don't know, I'm not your mom, it's a free country. Do whatever you want. So uh, that's all I got. Peace.